We know that women make up a big part of the aged care workforce and are also most likely to be the primary carers of ageing parents. Why do you think this is and importantly, what can be done to support them? Two thirds of women are actually primary carers and the value of that care is larger than some of our biggest industries such as IT or hospitality. And that shows how much we actually should be valuing what our women are actually doing to keep people staying at home longer. The greatest thing that workplaces can do is to create flexibility. The pandemic has shown us that we can work from anywhere, but there are other things that we can offer women and also men who do care for their family. Additional carers leave or allowing somebody to take extended carers leave and then return to their work, not too dissimilar to parental leave. At your side, our total care model alleviates the burden of coordinating care. We save families an estimated 200 hours a year in coordinating those services. That's so carers can get back to living, not living a life where they're coordinating services. Your side is also a delivery partner for the Carer Gateway. And for carers, if you go to the website, carergateway.gov.au, the services are there for you.